The Pandyas were one of three ancient Tamil dynasties that reigned intermittently in southern India since the 4th century BC. Initially ruling from the seaport of Korkai, which is located on the southernmost tip of the Indian peninsula, they subsequently relocated to Madurai. Written records from Greek and Egyptian voyagers give details about the pearl fisheries of the Pandya coast. The land of Punt was a kingdom known from ancient Egyptian trade records. Punt was a place where the Egyptians obtained some of their most luxurious and exotic goods, gold, ivory, resins, and ebony, as well as live animals and slaves. The best evidence we have of Egyptian trade with Punt comes from the mortuary temple of the Pharaoh Hatshepsut at Deir El Bahari, who immortalized an Egyptian trade mission to this mysterious land in a set of reliefs now known as the Expedition to Punt. The Egyptians established ports on the Red Sea, such as Saw, in order to accommodate direct shipments from Punt. Some scholars have identified the land of Punt with Somali land on the East African coast, which is unlikely for many reasons. Other researchers identify Punt with Yemen, a frankincense-producing country in South Arabia, which carried on maritime trade relations across the Arabian Sea with ancient India. James Hornell and A.C. Das identified Punt with the Pandya region of South India, which was centered around its capital city, Madurai. Neduncelian, the earliest Pandyan king mentioned in the Sangam anthologies, ruled from the coastal town of Korkai. Korkai is the oldest port site in ancient Tamilagam. Ptolemy refers to the place as Kolkhai and says that it was an emporium of the pearl trade and the birthplace of the Pandya dynasty. The ports on the western coast were likewise under the Pandya sway. Purananuru mentions that a Pandya king laid siege to the port of Musiri. Evidence from a papyrus in the Vienna Museum speaks of a trade agreement between a trader from Muziris and a trader from Alexandria. Since Korkai was well known for its pearl fishery, the Madurai Pandyas were involved in marketing pearls to the Roman Empire, which maintained stable trade relations during the 5th century. This trade made one of the Pandyan rulers dispatch an embassy to the Roman Emperor Augustus Caesar, whom the emperor welcomed at Athens. The Sangam literature speaks volumes about Yavanas. Although the word Yavana generally refers to strangers or foreigners, it first refers to the Ionians who lived in the Ionian region of Greece. Then it refers to the Romans and the Egyptians. A broken storage jar with inscriptions in Tamil script has been excavated on the Red Sea coast of Egypt. The same inscription is incised twice on the opposite sides of the jar dated to the 1st century BC. The inscribed text is Pane Ori, which means pot suspended in a rope net. Yet another Tamil script inscribed on a potsherd was found in the Khor Rori area of Oman. The script reads Nantai Kiran and it can be dated to the 1st century. Black and red ware bowls and red ware offerings from graves in the Nubian desert of Egypt correspond to South Indian megalithic pottery. An artifact datable to the 5th dynasty found in Egypt was originally stated to be made from Diospyros ebinum wood, a tree that is originally from southern India and Sri Lanka. These discoveries provided material evidence to corroborate the literary accounts by classical Western authors and the Tamil Sangam poets about the flourishing trade between the Tamil country and Egypt in the early centuries.